Skull as a character in Capsom Street Fighter series of fighting games. He debuted as one of the original eight characters in 1991 Street Fighter II and appeared in the game's subsequent updates. In the games he is portrayed as a major in the United States Air Force who is seeking to avenge the death of his Air Force buddy Charlie at the hands of the villainous dictator M. Bison. One of the most popular characters in the series, Guile has appeared in other Street Fighter games, including Street Fighter Alpha 3 and Street Fighter 4. He is also a playable character in various spin-off titles, such as the Street Fighter X, Marvel vs. Capsom 2 and SNK vs. Capsom series. In addition, Guile has appeared in other Street Fighter media. He is one of the main characters in the 1994 live-action Street Fighter film and its animated spin-off, as well as Street Fighter II, the animated movie. The character has also been featured in various official comics and merchandise. Guile has been perceived as one of the more unique Street Fighter II characters in both appearance and gameplay. play. He is noted as having only two signature moves in the game, both of which are performed by first holding a direction on the joystick, the sonic boom and somersault. Guile has been well received, with the character often placing highly in various lists of the best Street Fighter characters of all time. Appearances Equals in video games equals Guile first appears in Street Fighter II as one of the eight selectable characters featured in the first release of the game. Guile leaves his country and family to enter the World Warrior Tournament to avenge the death of his friend Charlie, who was killed by M. Bison, the tournament sponsor, sometime before the events of the game. In his ending, he defeats Bison, but is dissuaded from killing him by his wife and their daughter. Guile's war buddy Charlie would appear in the later prequel series Street Fighter Alpha, although Guile himself did not appear in the sub-series until the console versions of Street Fighter Alpha 3. They originally made Guile a hidden character in the initial PlayStation version of the game, though subsequent versions made him part of the initial roster. In his storyline in the game, Guile is an Air Force JTAC order to track down Charlie, who has gone missing. Guile eventually fights Charlie as well as Bison as his final opponent. In his ending, Guile infiltrates Bison's base with Charlie and sets explosives on the Psycho Drive, only for the two to be caught in the act by Bison. Charlie holds off Bison while Guile escapes and the base explodes with Charlie still in it, resulting in his death. Guile also appears as a playable character in Street Fighter X and its two sequels, Street Fighter EX2 and Street Fighter EX3. The storyline of the X series takes place at the same time as Street Fighter II. In addition to tracking down Shadaloo to avenge Charlie, Guile is also hunted by a mercenary named Doctrine Dark, who is actually a former subordinate named Holger. His relationship with Ken as brothers-in-law is mentioned for the first time in the games and Ken's ending in the Japanese version of the original EX2. Guile returns as a playable character in Street Fighter IV where he seeks authorization to conduct a rescue mission for a comrade named Charlie, whom he believes to be missing, but his request is rejected by his superiors. Guile also appears as a supporting character in the crossover fighting game Street Fighter X Tekken, with Abel as his official tag partner. Guile appears in both the arcade and home versions of Street Fighter, the movie, which were two separately produced 1995 fighting games that used digitized footage from the live-action Street Fighter film, in which Guile was the lead character. Actor Jean-Claude Van Damme posed for Guile's animation frames in the game. The Alpha 3 incarnation of Guile appears as a selectable character in several fighting game crossovers which including Marvel vs. Capsom 2, Capsom vs. SNK, Capsom vs. SNK 2 and Capsom Fighting Jam. He also appears in the SNK produced installments of SNK Capsom crossovers in SNK vs. Capsom, Match of the Millennium, SNK vs. Capsom, SVC Chaos and the SNK vs. Capsom, Card Fighters Clash series. A super deformed version of the character is playable in the mobile puzzle game Street Fighter, Puzzle Spirits. Guile appears in Charlie's ending in X-Men vs. Street Fighter swearing revenge on Bison for apparently killing Charlie. A Gull-inspired costume for players to use in Sony's Little Big Planet was released as downloadable content. Equals character design equals, 
Early Street Fighter II sketches and notes suggest that guile was developed specifically to appeal to American fans. In an interview with Game On, Capsong research and design head Noritaka Funamizar stated that of the more popular characters in the series with Western audiences, Guile was most likely considered the game's main character. His physical appearance is strikingly different from the many Asian characters in the Street Fighter series, with light blue eyes, a chisel jaw, and a blonde and particularly tall flat top haircut. The length of Guile's hair varies greatly from appearance to appearance. It is relatively realistic in Street Fighter II, and impossibly tall in SVC Chaos. Capsom's sourcebooks suggest that Guile's famous hairdo is styled with a special order army hairspray to keep it up. Another way Guile's image differs from the Asian combatants in the series is his flag of the United States tattoos. Currently, he is one on each deltoid. Finally, Guile's military fatigues complete his all-American look. He wears Charlie's dog tag alongside his own as he searches for bison. Equals in other media equals, in the 1994 live-action Street Fighter film, Guile is played by Jean-Claude Van Damme and is the main character. Van Damme's line in the film, Are you man enough to fight with me? is taken from Street Fighter II and its follow-ups. His character is given the rank of Colonel. In this live adaption, Guile is commanding the AN forces as he searches for General M. Bison. His motivation for searching for Bison is not to avenge Charlie's death, but to end Bison's corrupt organization and to rescue Charlie, although he receives a great deal of help from Raya and Ken to find Bison's base, and is aided in his mission by Chun Li, Kami White, T Hawk, Barog, E Honda, and Zanjeev. Jean Claude Van Damme's hair, while blonde, lacked the hairstyle from the games and even though the character was portrayed as American, Van Damme's Belgian accent was very noticeable. Gulli will appear in the second season of Street Fighter, Assassin's Fist titled Street Fighter, World Warrior in a significant role. Series creator Joey Anser has told Shogun Jamer that he is interested in casting Scott Adkins as Guile. Guile is one of the main characters in the 1994 anime film Street Fighter II, the animated movie, where he is voiced by Masan Tsukuyama in the Japanese original and by Kirk Thornton in the English dub. Guile is assigned to work together with Chun Li in order to take down Bison, whose organization Shadaloo has been kidnapping several martial artists and brainwashing them to do his evil bidding. Guile is at first far from happy to work with another person on the case, claiming loudly that Bison's ass is mine, but a distinct friendship builds up between him and the Interpol agent. The film follows Guile's plot from the video game in Guile tracking down Bison to avenge Charlie's death, and his vendetta is amplified when Chun Li is severely beaten by Vega on Bison's orders. Near the end of the film, Guile manages to track Raya down but is followed by Bison and a brainwashed Ken. Guile engages Bison in combat but is outmatched by the crime lord's overwhelming speed and only manages to damage his cape with a sonic boom. Bison then finishes the fight by blasting Guile down a chasm. Guile survives this, although exhausted and bloodied, and when Bison finds Guile, he decides to spare him as an insult, and leaves. Guile is rescued along with Barog by E. Honda. In his final scene, Guile, fully recovered, is moved to tears when informed that Chun Li survived Vega's attack. Based loosely on the storyline of the 1994 film while combining elements from Street Fighter II, Guile serves as the main protagonist of the Street Fighter animated series, and is depicted as the leader of an organization of Street Fighters consisting of himself, Chun Li, Blanca, Raya, Ken, T Hawk, Kami, DJ, Fei Long, and Dalsam. Bison has survived his battle with Guile following the events of the film, and Guile's sole goal is to destroy Bison once and for all. The cartoon ran for two seasons with a total of 26 episodes. Guile appears in the 1995 anime series Street Fighter 2 V, where he is voiced by Tesha Gender in the Japanese original as once again by Kirk Thornton in the English anime's dub and by Rob Mungle in the ADV film's dub. In this TV series, Guile is a technical sergeant in the U.S. Air Force, who spends most of his time training physically and who has cried in the Air Force. He faces Raya in a bar fight after Raya and Ken beat up some of his men. Guile easily defeats Raya, only to face Ken, 
who challenges him in an Air Force base to avenge Raya. Despite a severe hangover, Gal is able to defeat Ken, which motivates the duo to start a training journey and improve their martial arts skills by challenging opponents around the world. While in India, Raya fights an imaginary Gal during a training session, but stops the fight and acknowledges his respect for the sergeant for showing them how arrogant they were and inspiring them to travel the world. Later in the series, Gal is recruited by Ken's father along with his friend Charlie when Raya, Ken and Chun-Li are taken captive by Shadaloo. He faces Zanjeev while infiltrating Bison's base, while Nash confronts Bison himself. Gal knocks Zanjeev out, but is unable to save Nash from Bison, who pits a brainwashed Chun-Li against the enraged sergeant. Outside, Gal fights Chun-Li until Bison's demise snaps her out of her brainwashing and he is last seen showing admiration for Ryan and Ken when they emerge unharmed from the battlefield. In new D.O.N. Street Fighter comic adaptation, Gal is given a central role alongside Chun-Li, particularly in the first arc but he also is a frequent cast member in later arcs. Similar to the official story, Gal is chasing after Shadaloo to discover the whereabouts of his Air Force buddy, Charlie Nash. Gal is first introduced to Charlie after his aircraft is shot down and Charlie commands a Black Ops mission to rescue him. Like the official story, Charlie teaches Gal to fight. For the first arc of the comics, Gal spends his time looking for Raya, believing to there to be a connection between him and Shadaloo. He traces him to the US and then back to Japan. While in Japan, he and Chun Li engage a Shadaloo controlled Charlie and fight him off. At the end of the first story arc, Charlie regains his senses and rejoins Chun Li and Gal before they're attacked by M. Bison. Charlie unleashes his latent psycho power abilities and sacrifices himself to take out Bison, leaving Gal distraught and swearing vengeance against Shadaloo. Afterwards, Gal continues to assist Chun Li in looking for Bison, but all the while juggling his struggling relationship with his wife, Julia, and their daughter, Amy. Eventually the family reconciles at the end of the comic's second arc. Guile isn't heavily active during the second series of comics but he is given an invitation to Bison's tournament, which he accepts as his final bid for vengeance. The final series documents Guile's entry into M. Bison's fighting tournament. While on Shadaloo Island, he is contacted by Kami, who needs his help but cannot openly assist him as she is attempting to fool Bison into thinking she is under his control. Through a carefully woven set of scripted matches, Guile and Chun Li get themselves eliminated from the tournament and successfully free the Delta Red Squadron. Together they manage to locate and destroy Bison's psycho drive before evacuating the island as it sinks. The aftermath of the tournament show that Guile is satisfied with the results, believing he has successfully avenged Charlie, and is now comfortably living with his family. Guile also appears alongside other Street Fighter characters in the Archie Comics crossover event Worlds Unite, which featured various Capsom and Sega franchises guest starring in the Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic Universe, Mega Man, and Sonic Boom comics. Reception Video game publications have commented on Guile, giving mostly positive opinions. 8-bit theater author Brian Clevenger once described Guile as the epitome of everything discussed in the art of war. IGN ranked him at number 2 in their Top 25 Street Fighter Characters article, stating there's nothing too fancy about him. He's just your basic, no-nonsense, all-American tough guy. Guile has also ranked 10th in Screw Attack's Top 10 Coolest Characters. Game Daily listed him at number 10 on their Top 20 Street Fighter Characters of All Time article, voicing disapproval for Jean-Claude Van Damme's portrayal of him in the live-action film. IGN gave similar comments labeling such portrayal as, what went wrong in an article about gaming heroes. Game Daily additionally named him one of their favorite Capsom characters of all time, praising his hairstyle as one of the weirdest in gaming by stating it's not big, puffy and round, but big, puffy and mighty. In the February 1992 issue of Gamist magazine in Japan, Gal ranked at number 4 in the list of best characters of 1991. Writing for The Guardian, Ryan Hart listed Gull as the 14th best Street Fighter character, placing Charlie in a higher spot when comparing their mover sets. Alongside Hart, 
New Geo Networks' Paul Fafari commented that Guile was one of the most important characters from the series behind Ryan and Ken. They also listed him 11th on their list of top 50 Street Fighter characters. His mover sets were noted for having only two special techniques which required players to take a defensive style with Guile found to be one of first characters from the franchise with charged moves. For the crossover game Street Fighter X Tekken, Games Radar listed Paul Phoenix as an opponent they wanted Guile to face owing to their similar hairstyle. The theme tune for Guile, specifically the version from the CP System 2 release of Super Street Fighter 2, is the subject of a mashup internet phenomenon named Guile's theme goes with everything, starting in April 2010, in which the music is perceived to synchronize with clips from films and other media, regardless of their content. This quickly grew to some 5,500 videos and counting. References